Welcome to this episode of Weekend Rental. Uh, this time we're checking out Rakugaki Showtime, a PS1 game from 1999 developed by uh, the infamous Treasure Games, uh, published by Enix back when they were still publishing games. And uh, we call it a party fighting game because it is, it feels like a Smash type of game. Uh, it feels like a Power Stone type of game. Uh, it definitely leans into the chaos. Uh, at least when we're talking about the four-player mode. You're hitting each other, you're throwing stuff at each other, the stage is throwing you all kinds of randomized items, bombs, mines, rocks, giant boulders that smash into smaller boulders, things that spawn black holes. But it's got a, uh, a character of its own. It's a, it's a colorful, bright treasure game with crayon graphics. Raku, uh, Rakuga, I think we looked up and it means doodle. Um, so Rakuga Kids, we saw, we thought was uh, from the same people, but it's not. Um, and we checked out a little bit of the single player, and we checked out the four player before we decided to write down our thoughts on the game. To kick it off, we're gonna hear from Rapdo. Yeah, thanks for passing it off. Actually, fun tidbit: Rakugaki is actually Japanese for graffiti, so. We'll probably take from Rakuda as crayon. Anyway, uh, yeah, I totally agree. It's got that treasure game polish, which really makes it hard to give it anything less than like four out of five graph fields. Um, really fun to arena battle with the huge cast of characters, but at the same time, I, I never really figured out what I was doing other than jumping. And I really uh, would love to explore more like one player in this and or use a guide so I can really figure out how to use people so then I can really tear it up and dominate in the in the arena. So yeah, four out of five Garfields for me. Uh, what do you think, Mega Man Man? Uh, thanks, Rado. Uh, I actually had a pretty pretty solid time in this game. I do like the the aesthetics, this kind of crazy child crayon world. Uh, always fun. I think it really plays well on PS1, especially. Uh, it, it, was, it was pushing the limits. When you weren't in turbo mode, it was Oh man, it was it was just hard chugging along trying to get for it. But uh, otherwise, it did like some of the mechanics. Uh, it seems like it's a game based on throwing stuff. It had those little arrows flying around, telling you where shit could go. But uh, uh, yeah, a lot of like uh, Mega Man Legends games, which was just circle and strafe. Uh, you know, you didn't know where those bullets. I mean, you did know exactly where those bullets were gonna end up, right in the reticle. But uh, with this 3D space, yeah, those arrows were pretty nice. I didn't like the player reticles <laughs> at the, the towards the end where we were, had giant uh, shit all over us, but the um, baby mode seemed to be a good way to keep an eye on who you were and where you were. Uh, otherwise, I gave this game uh, 4.5 Garfields because it's a pretty it's a pretty solid pretty solid thing to do. Uh, filter she got yeah uh, thanks Mega Man man yeah this game's got style and substance as, as you both mentioned um, it's a bit of a challenge to discern and you know as Mega Man man was talking about there we did try out some different settings uh, it seems like baby mode has the most clear UI I guess of all of them and uh, that's that's probably the way to go um, and you know the settings being this uh being this as it is a japanese game with no fan translation it's, it's a little hard to figure out the menus but uh, what's in here is definitely one of those multi-layered uh treasure experiences where you've got you know systems and mechanics on top of systems and mechanics that you don't really figure out until you've um, probably gone through the single player mode a couple times. As a multiplayer game, uh, it's it's chaotic. It's everything you'd want from a, a party style game where you're just yelling at the TV and uh, and hitting buttons and hoping it works. But when I tried out the single player mode or when I was really trying to do something deliberate, I could tell uh, the, the framework's there for something a little bit more nuanced. Probably not um, as balanced as something like Power Stone, but Treasures games never really are. They're more about like just seeing how far you can stretch it. So it's a cool little uh, sandbox type of fighting game where you can you, you can just see like oh how many infinite juggles could I probably do? Um, but it's interesting that it yeah it focuses more on throwing stuff uh, uh, for most of the characters. Um, so a lot of variety, a lot of style. Definitely worth a try. I give it four Garfields out of five. 
And, you know, maybe if I sat down in single player and really cracked the nut that it is, I might give it more. Uh, but even as it is, it's worth trying. Uh, time on time, what do you think of Rak Rakugaki Showtime? Rakugaki Showtime was a wild ride. Uh, I don't think that I, we've played something on here that I felt more that way about. Um, definitely a lot going on. I I agree with uh, other renters here where I couldn't really get my head wrapped around what it is that um, I was supposed to be doing to win. Uh, it, it seemed like maybe uh, Neo Sense <laughs> I, 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 it just through his commentary throughout. Maybe he got it a little bit more than certainly I did. Um, it, it was it was it was tough. It was definitely tough. But aside from that, I I was absolutely transfixed by it. I couldn't I couldn't take my eyes away from it. I, I wouldn't be able to if I wanted to because it was there was so much going on, a lot of very um, a lot of things pulling your attention around the screen. But I think that they I, I love that they just sort of simplified the way that everything looked so that they could have as much going on as possible. Um, and that said as well, like some of the things I was just downright impressed by, like the simplicity of the arrows being two dimensional, but existing in a three dimensional space just looked really cool to me. Um, but yeah, I mean, if I could read Japanese, and if I had a little bit of time, you know, this isn't the, the best setting to really figure out how to play a game like this. But I really do believe that there's a lot there to look at, and it would be a rewarding process, checking it, checking the rest of it out. Matter of fact, I'm at four Garfields right now. I'm gonna, I don't, I don't know if this is live, you can see it, but I'm sliding it up to a five. Play wow. this game, try it out. Do, do wow. try it out. Neosense. Uh, uh, please, uh, uh, regale us. You know what? Time on time might have been onto something there. I played a lot of Guardian Heroes Advance, uh, on the Game Boy Advance, and I might have been a little more tapped into the controls here than some of my fellow renters. I absolutely love this game. It gets four Garfields out of five for me. I'm gonna keep my rating as such because the multiplayer could have been a little more fleshed out with some cooler backgrounds, but otherwise I absolutely loved it. It's treasure charm on top of PS1 uh, chugging along the indomitable machine that the PS1 is runs this treasure multiplayer game incredibly. And yeah, I'd like to see what the single player is about. I'm probably going to fire it up myself. So let's see what you had to say, Stove. Yeah, um, it's it's a it's an interesting game. Um, I really like it. It's a, a very kind of pre Power Stone, Power Stone like concept game. We somehow seem to find ourselves playing these a lot, but um, it's a it's a neat little little arena fighter. I mean, it's it's competent. It's weird. I really didn't know what I was doing at the same time, but somehow it worked itself out, which is a treasure unto itself. Um, I don't know. It, it's it's every time Treasure puts these kinds of games out, they, they never feel like they're really flesh out products, but more of like a template for someone else to kind of follow and, and build upon. Um, I don't know. I, I really like it. It's it's definitely a, a four out of five Garfield game uh, for, for whatever that means. It's it's fun. You know, it'd be a great party game like locally. It's impressive. And it's just it's just a neat time. I don't know. Fun game. And that's the impression that I get. 